Hello and welcome back to the InGen Studio, where today we're going to be discussing how to build your own custom air muscle. Let's jump right in. Alright guys, so all the parts for the build are here on the table. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a list of all the parts in the description below. And that way you can just click on them and go straight to them. But we'll go ahead and discuss what parts you need for the build. So first, you're going to need an air compressor of any size. A 1 4th outer diameter nomadic tubing. 3 4th diameter PETG wire sheathing. 1 4th inner diameter latex tubing. 1 4th to 5 16th hose clamps galvanized 24 gauge steel wire you'll need a ruler wire cutters a pair of scissors a socket wrench with a 1 4th inch socket on the end and for connection to your air compressor you'll need a quick connect adapter you'll need a valve and you'll need a 1 4th nomadic adapter on the end and what that does is this connects to the end of the nomadic tubing uh, for an adaption to your air compressor. All right guys, let's go and jump right into making one of these air muscles. They're incredibly easy to make and relatively cheap if you're just making a few. So to start out, I'll go ahead and tell you the lengths for each of these so you know exactly how long they need to be. The PETG sheathing is 11.25 inches, or at least that's what I've cut it to. The latex tubing is eight inches, and the nomadic tubing is 10 inches. And as far as that, that's pretty much all you need to know. Um, the stainless steel, a galvanized steel wire, I think I've cut it about four inches here. It doesn't really matter. It just kind of matters how big you want the loop to be. So we'll, get, we'll go ahead and jump right into the build. So first you're going to want to grab the nomadic tubing and the latex tubing. Put one into the other. What I typically like to do is leave about three-fourths of an inch for the wire clamps to clamp over the two. Um, if they can't clamp all the way over, then there's a chance that your air muscle could pop. So you want to leave plenty of material for the hose clamps to grab onto. From here, you're going to pinch and squeeze the sheathing over the both of the tubes, the latex tubing and the nomadic tube, and grab your hose clamp and put over the bunch. What this will do is it'll seal everything together and prevent any air from leaking out of the back of the system. You want to make sure not to tighten it down too much because if you over tighten it you can cut your latex tubing as well as your sheathing and um, you can restrict flow in your nomadic tube if you pinch it too much. So just make sure it's tight but not too much. Then I like to fold over the hose clamp. From here you're going to squeeze and pinch the latex tubing to the end of the sheathing. Fold it over in half and then add our hose clamp. What this will do is this will restrict the airflow in both ends so that the air muscle can contract by being filled with air as I described before. So once again, we'll tighten this down. Make sure not to over tighten. Once again, you can cut them and it's a bit annoying if you do. So tighten everything down. And once you have it tightened, then what we're gonna do is we're going to move on to adding the uh, valves. There's three I've put in unison here, as I described before. A quick connect, a valve, and a 3 4 inner diameter nomadic tube converter. And what that allows for is for us to get from the nomadic tube down to our quick connect to our air compressor. I'll go ahead and finish a few things up, add on these galvanized steel clamps or wire, and uh, I'll catch you next video. So this is what your air muscle should look like once it's completed. And what we'll do next is we'll plug the quick connect end into the line out on our air compressor. And what this allows um, the air muscle to do is be filled with air through this air valve here. Um, once this air valve is turned, the latex will fill with air, causing the latex tubing to expand and causing the PETG sheathing to contract. In doing so, this will cause the air muscle to contract as a whole, giving the air muscle the strength that it's known for. So go ahead, let me go ahead and give a quick demonstration. So um, what we'll do next is we'll go through a number of tests to see just how strong one of these is.
As you can see, these air muscles were able to pull up to about 35.5 pounds, which is honestly more than I was expecting for something like this. In my next video, I'm going to discuss how I summed up air muscles like this into a suit, which I like to call SAMS. It's Supportive Air Muscle Suit. What the purpose of this suit is to do is to help people who can't lift as much lift even more through the use of air muscles. As you can see, they're each summed up through this nomadic tube and will run to my air compressor. If y'all like this video, please click that like button, that subscribe button, and turn on your notification bell. What that'll allow you to do is to see what kind of videos I'll be coming up with next. And also down in the description below, I will have linked my personal Instagram page and the InGen Industries Instagram page. That way you'll be able to stay up to date with what projects I have worked on and what videos and projects I'll work on in the future. Catch y'all next time.